Hey guys, my name is Fun Pro. It is finally that time of the year when preseason changes are being revealed. One of the big parts of the preseason is the removal of the mythic item system and going back to the ways of the past. As a result of this, many items have been changed, many items have been removed, and many items have even been added. With all these changes, I want your feedback. Let me know in the comment section or in my Discord for item comparisons. In this video, I want to talk about two new mage items. The two items are Storm Surge and Crypt Bloom. Here's what Storm Surge does. As you can see, this item reminds me a bit of the current Shadow Flame with high AP and the flat magic pen. Now here are the stats of Crypt Bloom. This looks a lot like Void Staff with the percent magic pen and AP. So in this video, I want to compare Storm Surge and Crypt Bloom to help you decide what item is better and when. So let's get right into it. To test the items, I'll be using Interactive Graph. I will provide a link to the graph in the description so you could also try it out for the champions that you play. Here are what are the variables represent. A represents the flat damage and ability. B represents the AP ratio as a decimal, and C represents the AP you have without Storm Surge or Crypt Bloom. Let's use a variety of different champions. Let's use a max rank Cluxy, max rank Orianna Q, and a max rank Orianna E. The reason I chose these abilities was because I wanted to try to get different damage cases. Some abilities have high base damages but lower AP ratios, some have lower base damages but higher AP ratios, and some have good base damage and AP ratios. I wanted to get these different cases to help give you different perspectives. I'll be giving all the champions 100 AP before the purchase of Storm Surge or Crypt Bloom. So here's the data I gathered using the interactive graph. On the left, you have the champion abilities Luxy, Orianna Q, Orianna E. On the right, you have the MR threshold for Crypt Bloom to do more damage than Storm Surge without the Lightning Pass. So as you can see across the different abilities, the MR ranged around 44 to 50. One MR. But what we also have to consider are the other parts of Storm Surge. Storm Surge also has that lightning part of the item. So now I want to address that part of the item. On the graph, there's a variable labeled D. This variable was set to zero for the first part of the comparison. Now when we change it, the comparison will also consider lightning damage. It ranges from 100 to 200 based on level plus 0.5 AP. We set the damage to 100 for the base damage on the lightning. Here are the results. Again, on the left, we have the champion abilities. And on the right, we have the MR threshold for Crippling to do more damage than Storm Surge including the lightning passive. So as you can see from this data, Storm Surge just did more. When we look at Storm Surge's lightning passive, it's 100 to 200 plus a 50% AP ratio. That's essentially another ability being added on to the damage from one of your own abilities. So you're basically comparing two abilities to one when you use the Storm Surge Lightning Pass to the Crypt Bloom. So the extra damage from Storm Surge from the Lightning made it akin to comparing two abilities to one. I think that there is probably a cooldown on this part of the item. When we get the information on the cooldown of the ability, there are some things to consider. If there's a longer cooldown on Storm Surge, this means that once in a while, an instant of your ability will do a lot of damage. Then the abilities that you cast while Storm Surge's pass is on cooldown will be doing a lot less damage than if you went Crypt Bloom. There might even be a point where Crypt Bloom's damage will do more in the overall game because each ability will do more because of the percent magic pen. Another thing to do is to click tab and look at the enemy team composition. Also consider who are you using most of your abilities on. Maybe the enemy team has three tanks and two squishies, but your goal is to just get the squishies. There might be scenarios like that where you want to optimize towards your target instead of the overall team comp. These are just some things to consider. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you'll see next. Don't forget to check out my Discord server to talk about League or future video ideas. Also, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.